So is it possible to talk about the, the difference between cutting dialogue and cutting action? Yes, absolutely. I, I mean, they, to a certain extent, involve the same thought process. But the, I think the interesting thing about that distinction is that generally when you watch a film and you see an action sequence, you're aware of the editing and you're probably thinking, wow, I bet that was really difficult to edit. And the dialogue scenes feel very simple. And you think, oh, well, they made all the obvious choices then, just <clears> cutting <throat> from one place to another at the right time. I find the scenes which are just two people standing in a room talking to be immensely challenging because that's where you have to think about the nuances of performance and there is no obvious right way uh, and uh, it's therefore very incredibly personal what decisions you make whereas cutting an action sequence as I once read actually in a book of uh, interviews with another editor it, it either works or it doesn't you know somebody pulls a trigger and then somebody dies in a different shot and yeah. either it looks like get it timed right oh yeah, yeah but it really is yeah. either it looks like they've been shot dead or it doesn't and then if it doesn't you trim it a bit until it does um and action sequences have generally been incredibly well planned out in advance whereas dialogue sequences haven't at all you know i mean they've been rehearsed but it might be improvised. you have yeah it might be or even if it hasn't it's not like anyone knows where at what point you're going to cut when you put it together whereas an action sequence because it's all trickery really sure. uh it's all you know we're just going to show this bit before the stuntman's head comes into shot or we're yeah. just going to show this bit before you see the rope and the wire flying in it has to be very carefully prepared so that's easier in a way you cut it together the way that it sort of that somebody imagined it would be cut together and then you work on it until it looks as cool as you can make it so at what point would you introduce music in, in, uh, action in exactly the same way that i would introduce music uh in terms of my creative process uh, on on the day that i first edit something i would uh, once i've put together an action sequence roughed it out i would start playing with music the crucial thing is always with music i think to cut your scene first of all and then Absolutely. experiment with music afterwards Otherwise, you fall foul of the, the classic mistake the of, rhythm. of uh, yeah, following the rhythm of the music, um, which w is a catastrophe because you can't really see the scene properly and almost certainly the music will be replaced later on down the line. Indeed. Um, so I edit music like a maniac. I edit it to try and make it fit the decisions I've made about the timing of the picture. Right.